It's Bert Seelman. I'm here today to talk to you about weight loss rebound, about having lost the weight and how people tend to gain it back and they gain so much more. What is it that happens? Why is this so common? There's a simple reason. When people go on most weight loss programs, it's all about depletion of calories, depletion of intake. There's never any consideration of nutrient reduction and the reducing of the calories. They, there must be supplementation to give you the nutrients your body still needs to process and to function at a healthy level. You can deplete calories, but they still need to be balanced. So people go into a thing called starvation mode by having eaten too little for too long over too many days they tend to lose lean tissue and fatty tissue. Most programs will not give you a body composition test every two weeks at the minimum to prove that you're only losing fat and not losing lean. You see, when you lose lean muscle tissue, each pound of muscle causes you to burn 50 to 100 calories per day just in maintenance alone. That's to keep the body oxygenated and keep it repaired. So if you lose those pounds of lean, you're losing metabolism. You're slowing the metabolism. So you're slowing the metabolism down while losing the fat, and you get to this point where your metabolism is so slow that anything you eat, when you start to come off of that abnormal low intake of calories, your body is in a starvation mode. It wants to survive. It sucks up everything it can and turns it all immediately into fat. And the repair is not there but the fat is. So you end up in a worse state than the last and trying to lose weight is even harder the second time around. So people need to stop with the, taking on these programs that have reduced calories, reduced intake. They're down to 500 or 1,000 calories a day. Not enough protein to remain with their lean tissue to keep their metabolism up. They don't have the nutrients to keep their body functioning at the level and the rebound comes back. So it's because you've been in starvation mode, it's because you've had too few of calories too long and the program wasn't balanced. So beware of these programs that do not take a body composition test every two weeks, that do not adjust the foods and calories according to what your activity level is, and the ones that do not take the blood chemistry to see if your blood sugar levels are balanced throughout the day to make it diabetic safe. If a weight loss program is not diabetic safe, it is not a program that you wanna take on or try to consider, as you're not gonna learn for the lifetime. And the biggest point of all of this is your program should be something that you can maintain afterward, something that you can learn how to eat, how to portion the foods, how often to eat the foods, how to have a break day, how to have a break in your diet where you actually have a positive calorie day, where you do have some things that are good for you, so that your body isn't always seeking to just take everything it has and turn it into fat. Because priority is the body's main consideration. The priority is energy. Energy is number one. Repair is number two. And then storage is number three. So if you want your body to lose the fat and you don't want to have the body missing the lean tissue, you want it to be able to get into a repair mode. So this takes more than 500 to 1,000 calories a day. It takes some activity and it takes a balanced program to do this. So make sure you're getting body composition tested every two weeks at the minimum or the program is not safe. Thank you. I got off.